The musical Funny Girl is best known for launching a young actress to superstardom more than 50 years ago. That actress, you may have heard of her, Barbara Streisand. <laughs> and now the musical is being performed at the Players Center. Actress Vera Samuels plays Fanny Bryce, and artistic director Jeffrey Kinn is here to talk about the iconic role and the amazing show. Yeah. What a great musical. It is a great musical. There's Funny a, Girl's one of the classics. It's why we chose it to end out uh, this season. Yes. Uh, just because of what it says and, and the challenges that it brings up, and there are many challenges. So it follows the life of Fanny Bryce. So mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about, about Fanny's life for people that haven't haven't seen the show. Fanny Bryce was a young woman who um, she started off doing burlesque and then she was um, Ziegfeld actually discovered her and she started in the Follies and that kind of propelled her stardom actually into the 10s, 20s and then later the 30s when she started getting into more radio shows. And the show follows her life over the span of many years. Romances, Yes, I wouldn't say it's quite many years. It kind of stops before she goes into like her classic baby snooks that mm -hmm. she does. <laughs> but um, it goes through to her follies and uh, when she divorces Nick Arnstein. Mm -hmm. Who was really, Nick was really the love of, of, of her life. Oh, yeah. In, in reality. And it's played by Christopher Kehoe, who's really wonderful and we call him the tall drink of water. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, and you do. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Jeffrey, when you pick this show, I mean, this is an iconic show, and yeah. it, a lot of people know it, right. which is great, but one of the challenges I can imagine is that Fanny Bryce was her own star, right. yet people associate Fanny with Barbara Streisand's right. portrayal, right. Which, is, which is different. Well, what, as the community theater in town, I think what we do best is we take a piece like this that has everything good going for it, and we make it our own. We make sure that we don't follow a trend, or we don't make sure that, you know, we pay homage, because as Vera and I were talking about, there are certain things that people want to see. They mm -hmm. want to see that bride number. They want to see, you know, that laugh line. They, they get the, the humor in the piece. But really, what we have to do is go back to Fanny and what who she was and her story and try to tell her story honestly and sincerely and in our unique way and I think we do that very successfully. So uh, you know of course we all hear the hello gorgeous all those those line readings that you mentioned um, how do you approach the role Vera um, without you know trying to copy Barbara Streisand but still make it your own? I mean, I think it's exactly how you just said. I have to look at the script and think of how I can say things as honestly as possible. And if I'm not being genuine with it, that's going to translate to the audience. Mm -hmm. So I just pretty much have to be true to myself. I mean, Barbara did that. She yeah. wasn't trying to, I'm <laughs> Fanny Bryce. <laughs> She's like, I'm going to do this my way. And I guess I'm just doing the same thing. I'm going to do it the Vera way. Well, we want to hear the Vera we way. We do want to so hear the Vera way. <laughs> Vera is going to go get ready and sing. Give us a, a little preview. So as she goes to get ready, Jeffrey, yes. set up the song that we're about to hear. Well, we're going to hear People, which again is an iconic song that most people are afraid of but within the, the context of the story this is literally when she's discovered this is somebody that's always felt she's been the outsider always the the, the underdog and now she has found somebody that she understands and that understands her. She has found her people. Well, from Funny Girl, which will be at the Player Center through April 15th, we have Vera Samuels singing People. Take it away. Children. 
And Funny Girl is at the Players Center through April 15th. For tickets and more information, you can go to their website, theplayers.org. Coming up next, a local entrepreneur launches her own coffee brand. Yeah.